One other thing that we just need to talk about is that it looks like Alan Wynne Jones. It had been floated last week that Alan Wynne Jones' recovery from his shoulder injury was going so well that he might be a candidate to return to the Lions tour, and that would be in time for the test. The first test is 11 days away now at this stage. Um, and so that, that does pose the question, who will captain the Lions? Is Conor Murray, because he's been there the whole time, automatic captain for the first test, assuming he's picked and he's fit to do so? Or if Alwyn Jones is the tour captain and goes home injured but comes back, does he come back as captain? What's the answer? I, I, I don't know. I, I, what, there is, is there precedent for this? I'd, I'd like to know if there was. I don't think there is because... I think in the past, if you left the tour, you left the tour. Yeah, and if you had an injury, somebody would be named temporary captain, and maybe that temporary captain would eventually see out the whole thing. That would be, would be the sensible thing to do. It really does speak to how remarkable this recovery is, because if Gatland thought there was any chance of Alan Wynne Jones coming back for the tests when the injury occurred, he probably would have used the word temporary with regards to, to Conor Murray, or placeholder, or something along those lines. So I do wonder that if Alan Wynne Jones comes back, I wonder is Gatland Uber aware of that and is like, well, we've given Conor Murray the captaincy now, he's got to, he's got to stay captain. Because it's, it's kind of like a little bit awkward for him now to, to, to see the captain walking back into the dressing room when it does eventually happen and, and for him to be captain. It's, it's, a, it's a very, very unusual situation. Yeah, what, what would you do? I think that... I think that you kind of have to let Murray have it now since you've named him as captain. I think that you've kind of made your bed a little bit, and I think that's that's what I would do. It's a, it's a it's a really awkward one, really awkward one. And I don't know if, if I, like is Conor Murray's going to be starting the tests. If Alan Jones comes back and proves himself as fully fit, he's probably going to be starting the tests. They're both probably going to be starters if everybody's fully fit. Maybe Alan Jones comes in and isn't a hundred percent immediately, and maybe misses the first test or something. In that world, then it's a, it's an easier. It's an easier pass on, on Alan and Jones. It's, it's easier to say, well, Conor Murray started the, the tour the, when, when we got to the tests phase and, uh, and he's been captain, so we're going to continue as, as we started. I think that maybe is the reality of how it might go. Yeah, uh, so Murray starts the tests as captain. Yes. And then you play it by ear. I think so, I think so. Can like, you stick Alan and Jones straight in the team? See, that's what I'm saying. I, don't, I, don't, I think that that happening in the first test isn't overly likely, is it? If, if we're still, so a decision's going to have to be made today. Really, I do think we're going to get clarity in this today. You say, what, 11 days uh, from the first test? Can a, a person come in and 10 days later, after travel is done, actually compete in the first test? If anybody can do it, it's Alan Jones, in fairness. And he's not going to be flying unless he's good to go. But maybe there is a situation here where he's flying because he knows that he'll be a really valuable asset come test two and test three. And that maybe the first test could just come a little bit too early for him, even though he will be in and around the camp. So I, I could see that happening, where he doesn't start the first test and Conor Murray does start the first test. He is then captain for the tests and he keeps it, regardless of whether or not Alan Jones plays the second test. Yeah. Uh, you, you can't strip the captaincy. It's not stripping the captaincy, though. It, it, it's a very... It is a, a hugely unusual situation. And I guess if you named Alan Jones captain, if he's playing and he's fit, then he has to captain the team, though. <laughs> like, but he's... Yeah, like he, he's, he's back. He's I'm back. Oh, he's, yeah, he's ex captain. Okay. Like Connor, here's here's a here's the fact. Conor Murray is the captain of the British and Irish Lions. Alan Wynne Jones is not the captain of the British and Irish Lions. That is a fact. So you are stripping Conor Murray of the captaincy when Alan Wynne Jones comes back into it. Even though Alan Wynne Jones was the initial choice, he's not captain anymore. It is awkward. It's really awkward because there is a. Does he walk in and is like, Warren, where's my armband, mate? I know they don't wear armbands, but where, where is it? Like I'm or or. First penalty, Alan Jones and Conor Murray both walk up to the referee and they're like, uh, no, "It's me." Step aside, Conor. Yeah. Or you're probably not going to push Alan Wynne Jones back in that situation. You're not well, going to be like. I, 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 he, he, I don't know. Alan Wynne Jones was more a, a, a thoughtful leader, I would have said, than brute force. No. Uh, but he's still a second row, and Conor Murray's a scrum half. Yeah, well, but Conor Murray's a tall scrum half, in fairness. He's not going to catch you. If you punch it, him and run. It's true. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's very true. I, I think um, it's Murray's. I'm, I'm gonna for for a situation that we don't know the answer to whatsoever. It's Have you seen the other thing? Is obviously they've they've named this very very strong South Africa A side with like yeah. um, one South African I follow on Twitter was saying it's nine or ten of the starters or maybe eight or nine of the actual test starters in the team. 
and uh, Razzy Rasmus has been ratcheting up the pressure on Gatlin, saying, "Well, we could play, we could play another A team at the weekend again." I'm sure the lads wouldn't be scared of that, would they? They wouldn't be too cowardly to face our A team and give us a better opportunity of actually being ready for the first test. And also, it would keep our our not quite secure biosphere secure as secure as possible. Uh, Gatlin's like, not playing them. <laughs> not doing it. Absolutely no way. <laughs> what do you do? What, like, do you be as, as gamesmanship? Do you be as much of a shithouse as you can? Is that what you do? If you're the South African... If you're everybody if you're, in this situation. Everybody. So clearly, the, it's yeah, in the South African's interest you. to play the South Africa A, start yeah. a lot of fights, punch, gouge, bite, do the same again at the weekend. Yeah. Get your get as many of your test starters. Don't be them, the ones doing the gouging, biting, and punching. Use the other ones. Just bring Sh Skulk Burger uh, uh, along if you're look, it's, retirement. It's like yeah. Uh, what? And, but if you're Gatland, you're like absolutely. We will not play your A team. No, we came here on the understanding these were the fixtures. You you shortened it. You made it as as, as uh, biased in your favour as possible. Come on, tough luck. Mm. I think if you're if you're on the South African side of things, you are absolutely trying to rough up the opposition as much as possible. I, th I think Rassi as well is is trying to stir the pot a little bit on a, on a couple of occasions. You mentioned it there with, with the Alan Jones thing as well. He was he was on a kind of quite early, yeah. The news, he, yeah. The news quite early on Alan Jones, and it was almost as if Gatlin's hand was forced in terms of answering questions on it. So Rassi knows what he's doing. Rassi is a very smooth operator, oh. and and everything we hear from him publicly is a very deliberate thing. So this is a fascinating little wrinkle over the next couple of days about how this team actually approaches the game, because we've seen it before. I mean, I don't know a thing or two about having a warm-up game that can be a bit of a war of the lines themselves. Obviously, know a thing about a warm-up game that can be a <laughs> bit of a war. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, a few walking wounded this time next week, and that could be suspension-wise or it could be injuries.